Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Last One of Toontown. Um, we're on Baraton, Baraton or Baraton, I don't know what's pronounced anymore. Look at that door, it's awesome. Um, we're on Baraton um, Boulevard, because that's what I'm going to keep calling it. I, don't, I never, I don't know what it is though, so I can't really pronounce it right. Um, but I do know that we are going to go find some cash bots, and that's what we're going to do for the majority of the episode, is we're going to go get all these cash bot stuff done. That'd be great once we got it done too. Alright, so we got ourselves a level 3 cash by building the first one of the day. Um, this person might run in or might not run in. Doesn't seem he's gonna run in. Oh, she, actually. Oh well, um, good thing that we find ourselves a building. It's not, it's a lousy amount of cash by buildings on the street for some reason, so whatever, whatever works best is this level 3 building, and I'm fine with that. For some reason I wanted to include this drop um, in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah. Oh, please hit, please hit. Huh. Check it out, let's see what I get. I've got about 20 drop experience. That's, that's really nice. That's really, really nice. I have one more cash pot building to go, and then here we go. Um, off to the next tracks. Oh my god, so close to your sound, man. And your drop too, oh boy. It's like you never use sound and drop. <laughs> Literally, these two random people just walk inside of an elevator, just really quickly. And so I just went inside too. This is a low fourth story building. I mean, no problem, it's three people. Three people's the best, pretty much. It doesn't go as fast, but you never know. Oh, two cogs. Let's see your levels real quick. Ah, uh, nothing to worry about. This shouldn't be a really hard building, unless there's a bunch of, say, raw burns in the end. Alrighty, um, let's see how we start. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of that bean counter, yeah. This is gonna be real good. Oh, okay, all stunned, all stunned. And when the anvil's hit, comes the music.
I don't even know what to start with these people. Like, a person, this person could, you know, I don't know, I, I think he was a, a psychic, the Sir Boo Boo dude, because for some reason he knew that he's gonna use Tuna Pull on this guy. I don't, I don't know. It just seems to be that way. I, it just totally seems to be the case right there. And then, Sheriff just likes to get all the aggro. That, that's fine, I guess it's Tuna training? I don't know if they're actually friends cooperating. It's kind of weird how... what kind of strategies they use. It's kind of... I don't know. Odd. Oh, well, I'm just gonna sweep out the streets uh, of a couple of these cash bots and then we turn all these task up ones and hopefully find another building. Actually, we don't need to find another building because we already got it all done. Just two more of these guys and we're set. I don't know why, but my info is suddenly a lot more accurate now. Used to miss all the time. Now it's hidden like crazy. I guess that every time you level up some more, like level up your drop some more, it gets a lot more accurate. And I like I like that. I really like that because it'd be really, 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 really annoying if um something just like happened, you know? Like I don't know. I got distracted from the principal quest. I, I'm trying to say that something horrible would have happened if the drop would miss. Alright, that's all the cash pots now, so I'm gonna turn all the way home. Actually, let me check if there's, um... A place around here. Yeah, it's right there, right in front of us. I don't have to teleport. I think I have quite a bit of gags left. Yeah, 20 gags. I can use those probably. So I'll go turn all these tasks in first, and hopefully those guys still remain open for another tune. And I can always help them. Anyways, welcome. Laugh limit creeps by one. How are you? Laugh limit creeps by two. Uh, how are you again? Here you go. Trap frame 13. Now we got two more to work on. Bottom feeders, huh? Meow, 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 15 meow, cash boss mil meow, minis melody meow, land, because cash boss right there. Meow, um, meow, three, three plus story buildings, sure. Do that too. Meow, 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 oh crap! Meow, meow, okay, and then Doctor Fred. Oh, what happened? I didn't, I didn't read that. Let's see what like. Doctor Fred's building is called Doctor Fred's Industry, which is on Alto Avenue in Minis Melody Land. Okay, well, she said that we weren't able to do it. Now were we able to do this? I think I feel like kind of changed throughout this whole building, so I'm gonna do that. Alright. I just randomly met this person on the streets, by the way, if you haven't seen it. She was different quest that distracted me, but you know what? If she's a person who's in need, I will help you. So we'll start off with the first cog. She said we can't do this three people, huh? I don't know if she really doubts her ability like that, or she just don't know. I don't think I have any anvils, but I feel like using sandbag anyways. Uh -huh, no, no. Oh boy, I got. I just gonna use this, I guess. Ah, oh, nice. I just don't have cream pot. I don't have anything but tune up. Um, all I can do is tune up because I didn't regag. So. Yeah, and I wouldn't regret it anyways, because one, we're on the street, two, if we need help, I don't want to lose a spot, and four, I have no enjoyments. <laughs> so I guess I can get one whole cream pie, but that is that really worth going for? Not really. Eek. 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 Eeper. Oh no. I just used a sandbag. Yeah. Can I use another sandbag later, I suppose? Oh well. Okay, double stun. Sandbags. Random, random sandbags falling from the sky. The curtains close. What happened to Control V? Oh yeah, it's the exact same thing. Oh. 
Sometimes I had those copies of um the tags, so I copy and paste tags from the other video, and I just placed them here. It's, it's ridiculously <laughs> weird, dude. I never copy something else, anyways. I usually have the same tags copied, and then after uploading, I go re uh, record TT. Kind of odd. Oh, of course, my only whole fruit pie misses. What a commodity. This person's never gonna stop. Who oh, sneeze? <laughs> One sec. That felt weird. <laughs> well, she did stop. Oh, no, she didn't. Karma! All you need to do is find this person, and before you go to the elevator, you click on one thing. It's called ignore. And I'm gonna demonstrate what ignore does. You click on the tune, you click on ignore, you ignore them for a session, and then they stop talking to you. You will never see what they say. And if this really bothers hit her, uh, like, her so bad, uh, why don't you just ignore her? I don't understand. Please stop. Ignore button is good. That's for a session, not for a whole, um, like, forever, so that's pretty good. Aww, uh, good old Lore misses. I heard that Lore also can aggro enemies onto the team as well, like how Sound does, because if they're all, um, COG, all COG, um, Lures, and you miss, you see, they would aggro the, um, like, to the rabbit. It doesn't seem to be the case, but the rabbit who lured and missed didn't really uh, get the aggro. That's odd. Maybe it misses us in the aggro you? I don't know. What if somebody lures, it works, and sounds? What happens after? Man, I don't know. <laughs> 